Hey, how's everybody doing? It's Brent. I uh, haven't done a review for quite a while. It's my first of the year. Been just lying low, recharging my batteries. Today's review is a group I reviewed their debut album a couple years back. The group was called Somewhere Out. The new album is called Deep in the Forest. You uh, need to check out their Bandcamp webpage and see what they're all about. Listen to their previous work, check them out. I'll leave a link below. Anyways, guys, take care of each other as always, and let's get on with the review. Somewhere Out's new album, Deep in the Old Forest, was released on January 19th, 2021. Deep in the Old Forest is the conceptual work of composer and guitarist Raul Lupianez. I hope I haven't butchered that name too bad. I'm sorry if I have. He is the primary musician for the group handling guitars, all the keyboards, and most of the bass. Now, Deep in the Old Forest, unlike its first creation, Eternity Infinity, offers us musical patchwork with metal architecture, progressive and post-rock supported by a plethora of guests. When I reviewed Eternity Infinity back a few years ago, I felt the album was somewhat substandard at the time, but it also showed to me that the seeds of greatness were being planted. The title of this opus, Deep in the Old Forest, reflects the concept that permeates throughout the album, namely 12 tracks inspired mainly by various folk tales based on themes related to forests and mountains. The music has its origins in the prog, rock, and metal genres. I suppose I'll throw around the word metal around a few times while trying to describe Deep in the Old Forest, but looking over the album as a whole, I think it fits nicely as a progressive rock album. Its selectivity pulls from various aspects of all the diverse genres labeled prog, precisely what it needs to. The music is well composed with all the elements working together to create a cohesive sound. It offers a pleasant listening experience with many layers to the music to keep your attention. While there are metal moments, I don't think they'll be overbearing for those who aren't into metal at all. Each track is independent and offers not only a style exercise, as is often the case in the genre, but elaborate and well-soaked architects. The first listen, there were surprising amounts of melodies that fit easily into the brain, making it over time an experience more and more enjoyable. The musical variety is expanded further by the use of multiple vocalists. Eight people overall, both male and female, sing over the course of the album, and they all sing very, very well. The music is incredibly detailed and composed, with all the elements working together to create a link between the musicians and the listener. It should be mentioned, too, that this is not an LP that can be reviewed by one single listen. And now I'd like to share my highlights of the album. First of all, the prelude. The story opens the album with a minute of psychedelic soundscapes before Bones, Blood and Fear begins. And this is the first piece of prog metal that represents a beautiful dynamic with strong parts and moments and otherworldly calm all at the same time. The next song that really kind of impressed me was um, Someone With No Name, which begins as a ballad which is completely different from the previous song. It has a very dark and a very deep sound that gives it a feeling of weightlessness and grace. The Fallen One, which is a return of the prog metal feel, and it has a great melody with a slow intro with syncopated percussion. It's almost fusiony at times as well. The changes in rhythm are very pleasant, and this is one hell of a great song. On the song You and I, a heavenly, beautiful voice begins the song, and for the next six minutes it is a pure delight propelling you to the heavens. It would be difficult for me to say that this is not the best song on the album. And finally we have the longest cut, The Old Forest, which is almost 15 minutes long. This song asserts its prog influences and really reminds me of Porcupine Tree. This is one of the definite highlights of the album. Lots of tempo changes and a superb symphonic orchestration are included. The theme is grandiose. The guitar is superimposed on keyboards going from very fragile to very explosive in a matter of just like that. Rhythmic patterns change very often and the listener is confronted with both a very comfortable, warm, and beautiful complexity. 
Finally, I would like to say that Somewhere Out has created fusions of different talents to have a pleasant listening experience, with many musical layers to keep our attention, taking creativity to another level, and today there is something of a great work to listen to. Raul, thanks for letting me listen to this album and rate it. Um, it's a vast improvement from the first album, like I said earlier. Uh, I'm going to give this album a 76%, and I cannot wait for the future and what it holds for you, my friend. Thanks. Take care, everybody. We'll talk to each other real soon. Good night.